What's up, YouTube? I know it's been a couple weeks since I put a video out, but uh, been really hectic at work. Uh, 12 hour days and it's pretty much dark to dark, so I haven't had a whole lot of time. Uh, Merry Christmas to everyone. I hope everyone had a great day. Hope Santa Claus was good to everybody. Um, hope everybody enjoyed their time together and just getting a little break from the everyday rush of things. I know I enjoyed having a little break. Um, I gotta go back to work tomorrow, but you know, gotta keep the lights on, right? So that's the way it works. Anyhow, as you can see here, I have the Arma Big Rock. It's new to the channel. I just got this. Uh, this was my Christmas present. Uh, very, very, very pleased with it. Uh, I have run it a little bit, as you can tell. A little bit of dirt on it here. Uh, I'm gonna put me a light kit on it. I'm gonna order me a new body, and uh, I'll get a clear one. I'm gonna paint it up and make me a replica of my work truck. I've got a big uh, 2021 uh, 2500 crew cab um, so I'm gonna make me a replica of my work truck I think that would be really cool but uh, I do have a light kit for this I'm gonna put a uh, over-unders on both sides and we'll do the same thing in the rear I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put two reds two reds here um, lighter up a little bit that's what I like to do with them Got some new tires ordered for this. Uh, got me some uh, street tires ordered for it. And uh, got some different size adapters so I could go back and forth between 12, 14, and 17. So, because as you can see, I've got tires galore. Uh, I've got all kinds of tires. Uh, so, I'd like to see, uh, you know, what performs, what doesn't. Uh, but anyhow, enough of that chit chat, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, let's check out underneath here. Everything is still stock. I have not, uh, have not put anything different in it. I did, however, if I can find them, uh, they're somewhere in here. No, that ain't it either. I ordered, here they are, here they are. I ordered a set of, uh, I've got the 18 tooth and the 20 tooth pinion gear to swap out. But we're gonna run our stock today. This does have the BLX 100 system in it. And um, the old KB motor that is, I think it's a 32. Let's look down in here and see. So let me get that little focus here. Here we go. Yeah, 3200 KB motor. Um, yep, that's what it is. So uh, I am going to go ahead and uh, upgrade this. I've got 150 amp I'm going to put in it. Maybe we can run 4S if, if we want to. So far, man, 3S is just banging on this thing. I love it. Even with the stock gear. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, we are going to run the uh, Ovonic 4500 milliamp 50C discharge 3S. That's what I've got in it. Um, so let's get the uh, let's get the body on. And I love love this. I've never had a vehicle that's got the. Uh, uh, straps on the uh, body pins and I think that is awesome this is by far the the nicest RC I've ever had uh, not, not even gonna lie to you hands down this is the nicest thing I've ever had I mean I got the uh, I got the Moxu um, XP which is uh, it's nice but uh, I am having some gearing issues. The transmission went out on it. So um, it is out of commission right now. Um, 
I've had a couple decent RCs, uh, you know, uh, the uh, ZD Racing Thunder pickup truck uh, up here, he's on the shelf, running good, running real good, uh, you know, uh, I've got the uh, Kyosho Hellcat, um, I've got the Charisma, got the Charisma F-150, the 76 F-150, which same thing, gearing's out of it right now, um, transmission busted on me, so it's kind of in a repair state, but this is right here by far the nicest thing I've ever had, uh, really looking forward to spending some time with this guy here, uh, so let's get the, uh, Get the transmitter on here. Can get our turn on. My fingers are quite fitting on. There we go. Got her on. Let's get the truck on. There we go. Got the truck on. It's a beautiful day outside. It's about 63 degrees here. I live in Southwest Virginia, and uh, it's a nice day here. Let me get my tire tool and double check these. Uh, double check these tires real quick. Make sure they're still tight. Like I said, I did run yesterday, so uh, we'll make sure everything is kosher before I take off blasting. Yep, that feels tight. That's nice. Yep, that's good to go. Good to go. Alright, tire tool. Check, check. Alright. Yeah. And we'll drink here. This is the uh, Devil's Backbone. Eight point. Good stuff. Cheers, everybody. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Let's go play. This thing glides just over everything. I really like it. It's a little lower than I thought it would, but uh, it handles great. Turns good. Lily's like a crazy man. Jumps great. My little yard here is just perfect for it. I had a blast with this thing. I played with it yesterday for a while. It handles the jumps just wonderful. Glides right over everything. You do have to periodically take the top off and uh, make sure there's no stones or anything in there. Uh, I did put me a uh, I did put me a plate underneath the motor. Um, saw a video where they were talking about how the uh, the motor does not sit flat against the chassis so the uh, motor mounts are bad for there we go bad for bending on uh, hard landings so I did uh, I did cut me a little flat piece of plastic to uh, 
make sure that doesn't happen to me. Uh, wedged it under there, it's pretty nice. And it was a, it was a nice fit. I didn't have to force it in. Uh, just snug enough to stay. So I believe that'll be awesome. Man, I like the way this thing looks. I am running on 100%. Uh, man, when you get on it, she does get up. This thing is. This thing is fast. I'm not sure what top speed is on these things. Uh, I've seen a couple of videos, uh, uh, 50, 51, 52, but I don't know if that's with stock gearing or if that's with uh, the upgrade opinions. Uh, We're gonna go down the hill here. Do a little climbing. So it's kind of perfect for these kind of vehicles. Like I said, it's set for keeping them cleaned out. They do, they do accumulate some stuff in them every now and again. for this thing. Oh, in the tree. Back her up. Turn. Oh, there she goes. You can see that? Amazing. Oh, I got a limb in the back wheel. Hang on. Did I shake it? Nope, she's still in there. Let's get her. There she goes. How about that? This thing just climbs. It does amazing. Savonic batteries are just doing great. You know, they're super light. I had a uh, 8,000 milliamp hard pack in here yesterday, and I can definitely tell a difference um, between having that pack in and having these 4,500 packs in. Uh, that, uh, that Z pack, it's an 8,000 milliamp, it is heavy. It is super heavy. And, I mean, it does throw the balance off a little bit. Uh, but these are these are perfect. I bought two of these, and uh, they are 
great. This little guy scoots. And I'm just playing with the throttle. I'm yet to hit full throttle. I'm just playing around. I really, really enjoyed this thing. Too long, so let's, uh, let's head on back up, get her back in the shop. We'll see how much debris is collected. She handles just really, really well. That wide stance. Super, super well. I'm very, very excited about this one. I've read mixed reviews. Some people love them, some people hate them. But I saw more positive than I did negative, so that's why I went ahead and picked it up. Um, it's very substantial. The wheelie bar is super sturdy on this thing. Uh, let's, uh, let's open her up here. Let's see what kind of uh, see what kind of trash got left in here. Not too bad considering what we were running through there. But it did have a little bit of did have a little bit of junk in her. Uh, here we go. Let's pick this up. You see the uh, all the gravels and they did pick some stuff up. Like I said, it's important to uh, stop every little bit and then get that stuff cleaned out. Because you don't want that, uh, one, you don't want it getting any gears back here. Um, and two, you don't want it locking up inside here. This is where your, uh, it's where your servo and everything is. If you get a, you get a rock in there, you see that moving back and forth right there? If you get anything, if you get anything down inside that hole right there, and you don't know about it, it's going to burn your, uh, it's going to burn your servo up. So those are little things you got to look out for. And this is nothing new. This is all stuff that I've researched on YouTube, and uh, you know, I wanted to know what I was getting into before I bought this because, uh, for me, um, I think I got this on, uh, it was on eBay, but I got it for, uh, I think $3.39. It was marked down a little bit. I'm sure there's places cheaper, there's places more expensive, but, uh, that's what I got it for. And, um, uh, that's a lot of money for me. 
So I really wanted to make sure that I knew exactly what I was getting into before I bought it. And, uh, but uh, I really, really like it, man. Really do. So, hope you guys and gals enjoyed this video. Again, the arm of Big Rock. I know this is a long video, a lot longer than normal. But uh, if you've made it to the end, I appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, a lot of people that watch my channel aren't subscribed yet. Just hit that button. Doesn't cost anything. And uh, I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. I really do. And I hope you all have a good New Year's. And I will catch you in the next one.